They'll be calling you a radical. I wasn't going to put a, another video before I went to New York, but I can't fucking stand it. Solutions Conference? There's only one fucking solution. One fucking solution to nuclear fallout. Quit fucking making it. Quit making nuclear fucking waste. Shoot the fucking shit. There are no solutions. You fucks, this fucking gig down in fucking Austin is pathetic. It's a slap in the face. It's a joke. Look, I know this fucking guy. I know this guy who was ranting and raving about fucking nuclear fallout. It's going to give you leukemia. It's going to give you leukemia. Talk about it. Rant and rave about it. Say we're going to get a nuclear meltdown before Fukushima happened. Today Fukushima Start calling a fucking quadruple meltdown the fucking day. Four. Start calling it that fucking day. He says, oh, it's going to give you leukemia. I'm going to give you. Then he got... De nouveau, AML leukemia, the hardcore as fucking leukemia you could get. And we were able to watch his fight all the way through into a bone marrow transplant. Sucked up down to nothing. Surviving less than 3% chance. As we know, you fucks, like oncologists, please. The alternative medicine. You people in this conference are pathetic fuckers. Everyone, including fucking Helen Kelly got her fucking war. She's a Go read it. Fucking write another sorry ass pathetic fucking book. I'm so sick. Solutions. They sit there and say, oh, there's a solution. Nanotechnology can clean this up. It can clean this up. The fuck it can. It's fucking lies. There is no technology to clean it up. Another thing. WIPP. Just like I told you. Read this statement. Read this statement. Isn't that beautiful? At least somebody's standing up to these fucking monsters. Oh, meanwhile, we've got fucking hand for licking in the apple for a We've got Fukushima completely 100% out of control, at least four fucking meltdowns. In the meantime, WIPP, what's that, huh? The nuclear waste repository right by Austin, Texas there, going right over the top of your stupid car. Let me tell you, fuck something. I know this guy that survived it. He didn't do it with a bone marrow transplant. The only first patient in the world, maybe, who willingly did this without a bone marrow transplant. Sucked up to 119 fucking pounds, survived. And he did it in real time. Every day he did videos, and you could watch his path. You could watch him walk through this. A type of disease. Here's what you fucks do not get. You have no ex experience means everything. I used to eat, sleep, drink this. Now I've literally been sleeping with it. I got taken off the fucking acute list, off the disabled list. I have survived. I want you fucks to know something. When you, the type of death at Japan, the Fukushima workers, and I know for a fact in detail, there are at least 3,000 of them dead. At least 3,000. Let me tell you fucks, the fucking nuclear fault, the type of cancers that it causes. Oh, uh, well, the alternative this, well, integrate this with that, and we'll use some nanotechnology to clean it up in my garage, we'll go to Home Depot. Fuck you! You stupid, arrogant, dumb motherfuckers! There are no fucking answers. These diseases mow you down. By the time I went from 171, I watched our whole group, 15 different people, all dead. Like, you don't have chance for fucking this. Oh, let's eat this, fucking drink this, try this, fucking whatever. Three different people that I know. Three. Three. That are in this site every fucking day from around the world have survived ML leukemia. Two of them had a bone marrow transplant. Probably 30 in this site have passed. Your child gets a fucking heart attack from Chernobyl Heart, which I know two of them right here. Both of them. are pretty well vegetables now. It hits you. You have a heart attack from season 130 or strontium fucking 90. Boom, you're dead. Fucking nuclear fallout in your body fucking is acute, 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 acute. Fucking leukemia. Don't fucking preach to me, you fucks. You fucking soldiers. There are no fucking solutions. That is the law with nuclear fallout. Look, just like the mother got up and said the cop she had, she should have let them have it. Look, I was protesting the plant in Texas in 1975, and they told us, oh, we have an answer for this waste. We'll catch it. We'll get it. They've been telling us that for four. There are no fucking solutions. Solutions conference. The solutions. Quit making the fucking shit. Clean. Clean. There's nothing clean about it. Uranium mines. Solution. Cancer? Huh. <laughs> Good luck, motherfuckers. These fucking cancers pull you down and kill you so fast you don't even want fucking hit you. Fucking guy toss it out in detail from the inception from the fucking day. Travels all over the country. Leads a million mass man march at Livermore Lab at the hearings on the fucking USS Reagan last summer. I mean, supports all the... And let me tell you, how do you be brave? Be brave. And it's hard to be brave. It's hard to be strong. It's hard to be taxed, but there's nothing like experience. You fuckers don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 
that conference is pathetic solutions. There are no fucking solutions. Nuclear's not magic. Some clean up fucking technology. We've been hearing this over and over by thousands of people. It doesn't exist. This is the words coming right from the head of the fucking Livermore lab. You know, he resigned in October. He says, billions and billions of dollars a year as we try this. There are no solutions. There'll never be a fucking solution. There's no France waste. And you tell that to the people of Fukushima, Japan. Oh, solutions. We lost our family 25th generation farm. Fucking northern fishermen. We lost our fishing industry forever. Future generations. Hey, we have solutions. Yeah, yeah. We killed you before you're fucking born. There are no fucking solutions. That's the point of fucking nuclear waste. There's no fucking solutions. Don't you fuckers get this. There's no fucking solutions. Quit making the shit. Shut the motherfuckers down. What part of Chernobyl do you not fucking get? Really, Helen and the rest of you fuck? What part of Chernobyl do you not understand? What part of Fukushima do you not fucking get? Fukushima is on fucking going. On going to do shit. Shut the motherfuckers down before they happen. Every one of these fuckers. The waste, there's no. Nanotechnology. You don't think Livermore and the Department of the United States of General Electric Nuclearism has been trying over there? It's failing. It's failing. The fucking media, the whole fucking tra I mean, it's a pathetic commentary on our fucking culture. It's like this. We just keep fucking juggling it. Hopefully one day we won't miss it. You know, maybe we won't miss it. <laughs> oh, we missed it. It's called Fukushima. It all ended 31111. What part of that do you fucks understand? Oh, we're gonna fucking invent some technology to clean it up. Tipco themselves. We're relying on unyet developed technology. Tried our run yet developed it. We don't have the technology. There's no fucking solution. Zero. None. Dead! These diseases kill you. And you want to call us, you so called alternative medicines who talk this fucking shit, you make me fucking sick. It's a direct slap in the face to all these people that I've watched fucking die from Fukushima. And I've watched dozens of them fucking die. By the time it hits you and mows you down, I went from 170 to 130 in three weeks. Dustin, my friend, he got fucking this little blurred vision. He had a fucking tumor behind his eye that grew so fast why he was under chemo in three fucking weeks. Dead. I mean, so many, it kills you fucking right here, right now. You don't have time. There are no fucking solutions. Shut the motherfuckers down. Barry Antoinette, let them in yellow cake. You fuckers are all on the wrong side of history. And you're passive aggressive fucking ways. University of Austin, when you're sitting right next to WIP. Just the fact alone that WIP, the National Repository, has a fucking waste leak. Just that fact alone is beyond devastating. And you're sitting right there. <laughs> Uncle Tom fucks solutions conference. Yeah, there's one fucking solution. Shut every one of the motherfuckers down and every one of you fucking media fucking whores and you passive aggressive, string them up, hang them upside down, skin them alive and burn them and all their fucking nuclear fucking prostitution fucking whores called the black and yellow journalists like Mussolini and his mistress. They should be fucking hung. All the fucking black and yellow marine biologists, all the black and yellow journalists, all you so-called fucking, if I'm, oh, fuck, the Japanese are a tiny little fucking people. They'll clean it up. Oh, the Pacific Ocean's a big place. Oh, it's okay. In the meantime, Hanford's licking into the aquifer into fucking Columbia River fucking annihilating you. In the meantime, whip the National Repository sneak in there. All over you. In the meantime, Chernobyl, Oh, three full, at least three full more meltdowns are on. You fucks want to talk like this is past tense? I've told this the way it should be told in a very acute fashion. Like I said, I know this guy who said it's going to give you leukemia, it's going to give millions of people leukemia. Well, I know a lot of people. First guy probably in the world who's done this willingly without a bone or a I know this guy. Still doing his activism all over the fucking country. In front of the White House. Giving fucking speeches in front of the million man. Leading the fucking march on Constitution Avenue. At the Livermore Lab. In Eugene fucking Oregon. Fucking in San Diego. In New York City and Washington Square. Over
see you in New York. Tuesday. Washington Square. All day. Those mountains just don't catch snow. It's where the wind blows. It's where the water flows. How can you be an environmentalist when you're not in the environment? <laughs> False equivalency fucks make me sick. Make me fucking sick. To everyone who supported me in this long, crazy fucking path of mine, 880 days on the acute list, I came off. They had a little party for me. My personal nurse, Megan, my fucking massage therapist, my hiking buddies, my YouTube crowd of Lonnie Clark, Thomas Ackerman, Jan, Miss Milky the Crown, Rad Chick, all these people who've stood by me and, you know, allowed me to fight and have been my friend through this trying, trying, fucking incredible fucking journey and time. Thank you. I love you guys. I will never forget you. New York City. Because why? Why at the shirtwaist fire? Because this is human rights. This is all human rights. What's the greatest violation of human rights in human history? Fukushima 311.11. We have the right to breathe clean air. We have the right to eat clean food. It's gone. It's gone. Nuclearism. Subsidy from hell. Cut the subsidy. Cut the subsidy. It's a fucking failure. Solutions. Clean it up. There is no cleaning it up. Can't be cleaned up. Shoot it into fucking space, but Fukushima's on. This is nuclear fission. The age of fission, Thomas Ackerman. This has never happened before. China syndrome, never happened before. It's happening. Don't you fuckers see it is fucking happening. You're too blind to fucking see. It's killing your friends, your neighbors, your family dead. Oh, it's God's will. Tim Shell, thou mayest. Sad, sick fucking commentary. False equivalency fucks. I'll write a book one day and fucking lay it out in detail how I've survived the impossible fucking odds. This vlog's been about survival. Because we surely can't turn it off over there. We have to survive. And I've showed the playbook on how to fucking survive, yet you don't want to fucking see. You want to listen to some false equivalency fuck who's trying to hawk something. Trying to make a buck on fucking something. There's no... Replacement for experience. None. None. By experience, oh, if you have any clue what I went through, what I've fucking gone through in this fucking incredible, incredible fucking battle in this fight, people know. Some people fucking know what I've been through. Be brave when you get sick. Be brave. I'll be your friend. We have a club. Anybody who's got leukemia, who's passed leukemia, who's got all these acute diseases from nuclear fallout, we all know who each other are. We all have each other's backs for life, as long as that will be. Stay in tune. I love you guys.